What we're going to be doing now is doing some forum theatre. We know all about forum theatre, don't we? Yeah. Very good. Go! It's good, Daniel! That wasn't fair, I was just tying my shoelace. I normally hate sitting around so I don't listen in lessons. So in drama it's good that I have to get to move up around. Oh, you're too quick. When you're in drama, you can like get all in the action. It's really fun. Hands up. Who thinks though she should say sorry anyway? Because it's probably a good way of sorting this out. Yeah, let's let's try it. Let's try it. We're friends. <laughs> <laughs> Here in Norfolk, the local authority is leading the way to encourage the use of drama across the entire curriculum. And at Lionwood Junior School in Norwich, John McConnell has been working with drama expert Patrice Baldwin to resolve conflicts by using drama in his key stage two SEAL class. OK, come in, find a good space. Come in and find in a good space. Today's lesson was about SEAL. That's the social and emotional aspects of learning. We were talking about how we could possibly look at resolving conflicts in our everyday lives. Let's get ready. Let's imagine that we're in the forest all doing our jobs. I like that game. He started off the lesson with some warm-up activities. And I have to say that it's not something I necessarily think you need to do too much of. But what was particularly good was that he gave a reason for them, or even more important, he got the children to give the reason for them. And the reasons did make the activities valuable. So you could see that they were working together collaboratively. He brought their focus and attention. He got them concentrating. And when the bear roars, you know what to do. <laughs> The bears came around, sniffing around to see if they could get a giggle out of them or a movement or a smile. So that was a nice warm-up and they know what that's all about. They really enjoy it and I think that's, that's key. We, we're here to enjoy ourselves. Find the ones that are only pretending. Okay, and stop. What we're going to be doing now is doing some forum theatre. We know all about forum theatre, don't we? Yeah. Yes. Very good. We know that forum theatre is something that we can use to change things, don't we? We've been looking this morning already at something, haven't we? We've been looking at resolving... Can you remember? Conflicts. Resolving conflicts. Well done, Thomas. We've been looking at resolving conflicts. And now we are going to see some real conflicts acted out by some of the people in our class. And they are going to be absolutely brilliant. Today the forum was created and there was some drama going on in the middle of it. We had people saying, why not change this, why not change that when they saw a conflict? Why not do something a little bit different? Why not moderate your language, your body language? Okay, so why not try this technique, this approach, this strategy? Fantastic. Right, OK. Can we have our football actors, please? Are we ready? Go for it. And freeze. Fantastic. Round of applause for that performance. That was absolutely brilliant. The performance, as I say, the performances they did, they'd obviously rehearsed them beforehand. It didn't feel like they'd rehearsed them to death. They were still very spontaneous. Up and say... For lots of children who struggle in other styles of teaching some of the time, you quite often find that children who might struggle in certain styles of teaching will actually think, oh, great, drama, I can do that. What we're going to try and do is to change the world. Sometimes things go wrong in real life, don't they? Sometimes things are difficult and what we're going to look at is how we're going to try and change them, okay? We're going to look at techniques we can use to resolve the conflict. What does resolve mean? Kareem? Make it better. To make it better. We're going to look at ways of making it better. If you get an idea of how to make it better, what can you do? Brandon? Um, you can put up your stop card. Fantastic. Excellent. The stop signs are all part of making the Forum Theatre equal. Anybody that holds up a stop sign and says stop we all stop and we all listen to what they've got to say, so it's a very democratic way of doing it. Has anybody got a suggestion that we can say, I would like this to happen? I had an idea where if they're being unfair, 
Emily and Ruby could be unfair to them, so it's a bit more fair. Do you think so? Do you think if we, if somebody's being unfair, and somebody else is being unfair, that that makes it okay? Should we? So they'll both be doing the same thing. Hmm. How do we think that would go? Um, no, because they'll just both be unfair, and then it could turn out in an argument. Should we? Should we have a look what that would look like? Mm. Let's have a look. What do we think would happen if? The character over there started being unfair as well. No, we scored! Hey, that wasn't fair. Yes, it was. Right. Yeah! It's good! Ha ha! Okay. <laughs> and nicely done. Freeze there. Kareem, conflict resolved? No. No, I don't think so that time. I think. <laughs> I think that was a way of really inflaming that situation, wasn't it? When one person starts being unfair, it's bad enough. But when two people start being unfair, the conflict doesn't get resolved at all, does it? Just talk to the person next to you for just a minute. What next? So what next? What they have the opportunity through forum to do is to keep replaying it, as you saw, so that what would happen if instead of the person doing this, they did that? What would the outcome be? And they start to see that their behaviour, what they say, what they do, how they engage with each other, can be different. No, no. you and Daniel, you can move off, or, and, we, and we stay and go. Lionwood School is part of Norfolk's D4LC initiative, spearheaded by Patrice Baldwin. Together they've been making strong headway to intensify the use of drama and make classes more active and engaging for the children. D4LC is Drama for Learning and Creativity. Um, and it's a, it's, a, it's a school improvement initiative really, which is about improving whatever it is a school wants to focus on to improve through drama. And it's multifaceted, so it has to have the support of the head teacher who applies to be part of it. It focuses on improving teaching and learning, it focuses on creative curriculum, but most of all it actually is focusing on improving what's going on with children in classrooms in terms of their learning and their creativity. D4LC is a really strategic approach to school improvement that uses drama at the heart to bring out learning and creativity in the classroom, but it's about supporting teachers to do it, help them get better at it, get teachers together to plan, provide training, and really measure outcomes and think, well, what improvement has that made? Has there been an impact? And one of the things that's great about this school is that the head teacher is committed to developing drama as a means of inquiry-based learning and for creativity. As well as regular contact with D4LC representatives, the scheme imposes requirements on the teachers to ensure its constant presence on the timetable. The teachers in D4LC have to commit to teach whole class drama teaching at least once a week so that they aren't just going to use some approaches or some strategies or conventions within literacy or even within history or anywhere else. I tend to use it a lot more because there's so much scope for using drama in the curriculum. I can use a lot of drama in English, I can use a lot of drama in SEAL. So when it presents itself, when I think I can deliver that better through drama, I tend to do it because I enjoy it so much and so do the children. listen to people, it helps finish the conversation. If you hear both sides of the story, you can sort it out. Don't be afraid to put your card up. Stop. Stop. Emily could start the restart. Um, Emily could listen to them. Thomas. They could drag out that common ground. I feel upset when you just cheat like that. Can we have a little round of applause for that? I think we've got somewhere, haven't we? Right, here's another problem then, another argument. What we're going to do is we're going to try and see if we can change this conflict, but it's going to be difficult because this one's going to be different. And the same strategies might work and they might not. So first of all, let's have a look at it without stopping the action. OK? Go for it. Round of applause for that. that was good. The children sitting around the edge of the performance were the most important part of it in many ways because the spectators need to be 
involved to bring the play to a conclusion that we're all satisfied with. The actors are trying to make the world seem difficult and hard and to make problems exist and prolong them. The spect actors are there to solve it and so their part in this whole process is really integral. Um, I would like to go <coughs> up and help Thomas. Go for it. Do you like my new shoes? No. You copied me. How could you? You're the queen of fashion. Everyone's copying you these days. Yeah, but, but they're the same. Isn't that cool? No. I just want some things for myself. Can't I have a... But, Chloe, um, you, you two look like sisters then. Yeah, but I don't want her to be my sister. Maybe I don't want her to. Maybe I want my own stuff to myself. Whether or not the children got up and participated and substituted themselves or directed or whatever they did within that forum theatre, when you looked around the faces of all the children, there were high levels of engagement and they were engaged in the thinking and they were empathising and involved. We're best friends. We, we copy each other. That's why I know. We have to go through things quite a lot sometimes to get to a satisfactory resolution sometimes we don't sometimes if the children really think of a good way to solve it straight away we would stop it there and freeze chloe the girl who was upset that she was being copied was so skillful in making that go on and on and on and on and that that was so effective because she was behaving actually like a real child in a real situation and it made all of the others work really, really hard to get round her in the end and come to a conclusion where they were all happy. Why can't you just get your own pair of shoes? I will next time. Yeah, but I don't like it. OK. OK, I accept your apology. Now shake hands and hug. We're friends. <laughs> Let's sit down. That was a good example of forum theatre. Their voice is valued, they have uh, original ideas that they see come out into practice and into artistic form. They reflect upon what they've seen, they collaborate with each other, they have a feeling that they can experiment safely. Because it has an element of risk-taking what they were doing, they were all up for it. And I, I, thought, it was a, I thought it was a very good lesson. If you copy, just like, copy out of but you don't learn things because you just have to write it down, then you get really bored. In drama, you don't have to like write or nothing, you need to act it out. I think it helps my our learning because when normally the problems in drama like we were doing today um, can actually happen and, and it will help us to sort it out. In drama, you can just, it's so fun that it just gets in your head and it's all really cool and fun. It could help you when you're older. You yes. do more stuff. You remember it because it's really fun. I think drama is fun. I think drama is, a, is something that lots and lots and lots of people enjoy. And if drama can be used as a medium to deliver some of the, the drier aspects of the curriculum, if you like, then, then I think it's a wonderful tool to have. It has that flexibility, like nothing else I can think of, to be about anything. Where you can be anybody, anywhere, any point in time, any time in history, in any situation individually, in pairs, collectively, however you like. So it's an ultimately flexible teaching tool.